Hello class. So today we are going to learn about the marginal information which is provided on the Survey of India topo sheets. Marginal information is basically that information which includes the details about the basic nature of topo sheets and Survey of India publishes topographical maps at different series. So we are having different areas being covered by different uh, maps at different scales. So that is how we are going to look at the different series and we are going to learn about the topographical maps and their different series at a little later stage. Now in order to bring uniformity in representation of maps, marginal information is represented in such a manner that it follows a fixed pattern for topo sheet of various scales. This marginal information is divided into two parts, information along the upper margin and information along the lower margin. Now this information al along the upper margin, uh, it covers basically the name of the district, year of survey, title or name of the state, magnetic variation, index number. While the information along the lower margin mostly covers conventional signs and symbols, index to the sheet, scale, year of publication, and administrative index. These are two different topographical maps representing different areas in India. Towards your left, you are having the parts of Maharashtra. Basically, this is the northern part of Pune city. And towards the right, you are having the parts of Maharashtra state and Andhra Pradesh state. Now, this is the inner part of the topo sheet where you are having the map details. But apart from that, you will be able to see that there are, there is, there are a lot of information which is available on the upper portion of the topo sheet as well as the lower portion of the topo sheet. So, both this topo sheets you can see that lot of information is given over here. This is the information which we refer to as the marginal information of the topo sheet. So what is this information? We'll see one by one. But before we go into that, I'm putting forth before you the skeleton form of the topo sheet. So this is the inner part of the map where your actual map will be drawn and represented over there. While the Roman numbers from 1 to 10, which are written on the upper portion of the map as well as the lower portion of the map and representing all these things are the things which we, we are considering as the marginal information. So the marginal information is given in steps like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 10. So different, 10 different things at least minimum are being presented over here in the uh, topographical map and which we are calling again and again as the marginal information. The same thing is being presented over here, but like unlike the earlier one where I had just made a list of them and uh, written the Roman number, here we are actually looking at what is the information that is given on a, a particular topo sheet. So you can see the title of the topo sheet is Maharashtra, which area in Maharashtra, then parts of Pune districts are being covered. What is the index number? Index number is the unique number that is being given to each and every topo sheet. So each and every topo sheet will have its own index number. How these index numbers are obtained? This is another exercise which we will see at a little later stage. So the index number or the unique number of this topo sheet is 47F by 15. Now if you look at the lower portion, the same 47F by 15 is highlighted means this is a topo sheet and this is the area which is covered in this topo sheet while the rest of the uh, index numbers which are represented over here it means that suppose i want to look at the area which lies above the present area that is what, what area lies above this particular 47 by 15 then i'll be looking into the another topo sheet which is having an index number as 47 by 14. now apart from that you are having the scale then you are having, as I told you, the signs and symbols on the either side and also certain years are given. Now here, one year is given as 1979 to 80 and the other year below it is given as 1983. The latter year 
relates to the year of publication of the topo sheet whereas this year relates to the year of surveying of the area to make this particular topo sheet now as i told you the same topo sheet is being enlarged over here and you can see that there is information one by one we will look at this so marginal information what is marginal information it is basically the peripheral information on the edge of the map that provides useful information about the map to the map user and what does it all uh, take care of or what is it considering so it encompasses as i told you the scale now the scale note by this what i mean is that the scale may be provided in the representative fraction form that is rf or it might also be given in terms of verbal scale like say for example one is to 250 or one is uh, one centimeter is equal to 250 meter or one centimeter is equal to 500 meters similarly the scale is also given in the graphical format below this scale you can see lot of information is given this information is an extra information which will be uh, given over here and the person who is going to interpret the map or use the map if he requires that extra information he can get all such kind of information from here one very important feature that is being provided over here is this one that is the height and contour in meters that means what is the unit of measurement of the elevation in this area so it is meter if it is being used in feet then it will be given as in feet but most of the indian maps that we will see of the recent series are in metric unless and until they are very old of the british period which were in feet that is which were in british system so as i said the contour interval is given over here and it appears in the right side of the lower margin of course in our case it is not right side of the lower margin it is in the center of the lower margin just below the scale it is being given and it states the vertical distance between adjacent contours now what are the contours uh, just to briefly put it forth over here contours are the lines joining the points with equal height values or equal elevation so these are called as the contours we will refer to them again when we will talk about the relief features then the index to the topo sheet as i told you so indexing is being provided over here and how it is being provided as i told you the shaded one in the center is a number of the topo sheet that we are looking at while the neighboring numbers represent the index numbers of the topographical maps of the surrounding region so this is how we will be referring to the index now by now i am sure you all must have started working on drawing the signs and symbols those are being provided to you in your journal page or maybe on the blank a4 size paper so these are the conventional signs and symbols which are provided towards the lower left and right corners of the topo sheet and they are like the different kinds of roads different kinds of water bodies different kinds of railways then may be elevation or the land features like rocky outcrop cliffs and so on then settlements and certain numbers and figures or even letterings are being done to uh, mention about the post office telegraph office or maybe dark bungalow or inspection bungalow and so on so all these are different kinds of signs and symbols we will see the signs and symbols in another exercise so what is the work that you are supposed to do about the marginal information you are going to write down about the marginal information from the pdf that is being provided to you and on the blank paper you are going to draw this particular skeleton in this particular format there will be two such sheets being provided to you one in which i have written the roman numbers and a list of them is given and the other one where all this information is being written so both of these uh, things you have to do in your journal maybe on the journal pages or on the blank page now for the write up you can use ruled pages again which you can stick later on in your journal so i hope uh, you all have understood the marginal information if you have any query related to this on whenever we have the online class over there you can ask me your doubts Thank you